Hello again. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So in this, we just skip. You know, sometimes we need to skip the. Just search for the proofs on YouTube. You'll see a lot of videos. So I'll just take it as simple as it is and solve problems. I just focus on solve problems and through problems we learn more. Unit step. Unit step function. Just I'm going to define it first. Function, okay. So unit step function. Okay, equal the same idea, the same if you put as this or this it's equal to two ideas if one is zero if t is greater than zero and less than c is equal one if t is greater than or equal to c okay this is the definition of it what is the Laplace transform of unit function of unit step function Laplace transform of the unit step function is actually the following so the best of this is equal to exponential exponential to the power of minus st over s okay let's take an example let's take an example Okay. Get the Laplace transform of the following two U three of G minus three U six of T. What is the Laplace transform of this function? Very well. Anything that is multiplied by the unit step is just a constant. Okay, so put it out. Put it out. So the unit step of 3 is what? Of unit step of 3 is exponential to minus C. So C here is 3. So put 3 and then S over S. Very simple, isn't it? C here is a, a 6, so e to the power minus 6s over s. Okay? Very simple. Very, very simple. Uh, if you want the proof, okay. I just hear someone once, hey, prove it. <laughs> okay, so if we have your instant function like this, just hold on. Let me use another line. Okay, like this. This would be more accurate. If we have t, t domain and unit step like this of t, it changes from 0 to 1. From 0, it is 0. Okay, till it's c. And then at C, there's a unit step of 1. So this is 1, and this is 0. You know logic? 0 and 1, something like that. So this is 0 to infinity, okay? Alright? 0 to 1, and so on. So if we're going to make a last transform of that, of this unit step u t minus c okay we know that anything that we want any function that we want to make Laplace of has this definition 0 to infinity then e to the power minus st f of t so we have the function this f of t we put it there u t minus 
or shift, whatever you call it. Okay, we can divide this integral in two terms relating to this shape. We have integration from 0 to c and from c to infinity. Okay, because the rule we can divide it. Okay, so we're gonna make it like this from 0 to constant. So this is just one, not infinity, okay? But this just the rule. So we apply the rule. So from 0 to C, ES minus ST, unit step of T minus, or unit step of T, DT plus. So we just integrate this part. The next part we're going to integrate is this. Okay, so we're going to take from C to infinity. Very well, and the same idea. E exponential minus ST multiply pi U Tina minus C or U in step. Okay, so as you can see from the drawing right there that the value here is zero so this function when you integrate it we're gonna have zero so we only have this this one so when you integrate it you will have you need to you in order to integrate it we know that we will make we will multiply pi minus s and then we divide by minus s 1 over minus s. Okay? Very simple. Then we're going to integrate it from okay e from c to infinity. Very well. Of course with respect to dt. And this is equal to minus 1 over s okay 0 minus e 2 minus s constant and then s or equal to e to the power of minus s cs over s okay very well so the unit step will use integration by parts. We divide it by two part from zero to c, and we put just this term as zero because from the function right there is zero. And then we integrate from c to infinity the unit step function, just a constant. Okay, just a constant. So from c to infinity. So, so this unit step is like a 1, okay? Because this is 1. So this unit step is 1, actually. So what we have there, we just have that we are integrating e to the power of minus st. But the integration from c to infinity. And then we have the same idea. We just, if we put infinity, replace t by infinity. That will be zero. If we replace t by infinity, that will be zero. Minus if we put c replaced by t, so be e to the power of minus c s. Multiply this inside, you will have this. So the unit step is just one right here, and that's why we called it e to the power of minus c s over s. So. If you have any unit step, you can get um, its Laplace transform. We just prove, proved it right there. So Laplace transform of the unit step function, okay, unit step function, I call it U, C, T. This will equal to e to the power of minus c s press 
Thank you for watching and let's see more examples in the next videos.